To other news, almost half of the 108 confirmed cases of the Omicron variant are in the 20 to 39 age group, according to Public Health Scotland's latest data. But the body says it's not aware that anyone was in hospital due to the new strain of COVID. The news comes a year to the day since the first vaccine was administered. Brandon Cook reports. It's a year to the day since then, 90-year-old Margaret Keenan made history by becoming the first person in the world to receive a COVID vaccine. Scotland locked down three weeks later, while an army of vaccinators jabbed their way through millions, working from thousands of venues. One year on and the landscape of immunisation has shifted, evident today at Stonehaven Town Hall. Uh, it was certainly nerve-wracking to begin with, but um, the team here are really, really good. Two years ago, Lauren worked in oil and gas. Now she's a full-time vaccinator. I was terrified of needles, um, to be honest. Um, so no, if somebody said to me that this is what I would be doing with my life, I wouldn't have believed them. The training was really good that we got put on. Um, and it's just, it feels nice to make a difference. While many have gone back to their original jobs, Lauren, like hundreds others, are now part of a team of full-time vaccinators. A big focus for them is boosters, while well concern over the new variants continues. 108 confirmed cases today, with almost half of those aged between 20 and 39. Look, I don't know what is going to happen with this virus. Uh, we don't have that crystal ball. All we know is that we're dealing with an unpredictable virus where new variants can come in, like Omicron. And we've got to make sure that we have the tools in our armoury to tackle uh, whatever variant comes our way. And that's why we know that vaccination um, is, is, is absolutely one of the best tools that we have in our fight against the virus. We still don't have all the answers we need on the new Omicron variant, but today some optimism. A World Health Organisation official said current vaccines should still protect people against the strain if contracted from some of the most serious Covid cases. We'd always go for the booster anyway, but obviously Omicron coming on is a, is a major concern. It's, it's, uh, it's just all over the news just now. It's on our minds, but not overly concerned. I think we just have to deal with it and having the booster's part of dealing with it. I think it's massively important. I mean, we don't know what the booster is going to add to it, but it's definitely worth not taking the risk and just getting it done anyway. Public Health Scotland say there are possibly over 300 cases of Omicron, but there's no information yet on its severity. Tests on the strain are ongoing as Christmas approaches, but we won't know more for at least another week. Brandon Cook, STV News.